Just walk through the solo for a fairground attraction. It's perfect. Uh, guitar solo is the third verse. It covers the same chord structure as the verses. We're in G major. Uh, the solo is sort of rocky billy feel using a lot of double stops, and it's basically this. Starting on the fifth fret, I'm using second and third finger on the high E and B strings. So we're playing an E and an A note. I'm bending the B string using my second finger and go back, dropping down to my first finger, so that's the third fret on the B string. down to the third fret on the B string and the fourth fret on the G string. Same again. Then drop down second fret G string, third fret, third fret B string. We're then going to essentially you've got a C7 style chord shape. Start on with your third finger on the ninth fret and slide up to the tenth fret. So at this point, you should have third finger, tenth fret, second finger, eighth fret, little finger, tenth fret. First finger, uh, eighth fret. You'll have that chord. You've got a G7 chord there. So it's the slide up, and we're going B string, G string, D string. So you've got the kind of rockabilly kind of. Double stops. I'm just using it as bar. First finger, tenth fret. Then we're going for the G string and the E string. So you want to mute the B string in between them. Twelfth fret. Fourteenth fret. Back down to the twelfth fret, down to the eleventh fret on the G string. Drop your E string to the 10th fret and then do a chromatic scale down so so I'm going second finger 11th fret G string first finger 10th fret E string and then going down one fret with each with both fingers put a little wobble in there <coughs> we're then into the similar start similar sound to the start We've got uh, a double stop on the 10th fret in the B string. So, again, bending that uh, second finger back again and dropping down to the 8th fret. Then dropping down to the 5th fret and do the same thing again. And ending on that bend. So. Bending the 5th fret on the B string, holding the 5th fret on the E string. And then it drops down into that kind of rockabilly thing with on the bass string, the E string. 2nd fret to 3rd fret. So 3rd fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret, A string. 3rd fret, E string. 1st fret E string, and then D7 barred, using your whammy bar.
to get that little sound out there. Hope that all makes sense. Any issues or any, anything you want to know, put it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Cheers.